Hello everyone, uh, today I'm just going to be showing you uh, one of my newest uh, programs I just wrote, uh, Quadratic Solvers. So pretty much this is designed um, if you're learning quadratics in school, whether you just started or you're in high school and you've done a lot of experience with it, or you're an engineer, whatever it may be, um, this is here to help you. So it can do countless of things, um, as you can see on this list right here, over seven things. and. All of them have been tested and they all work and each one of them helps out a lot so to get the program actually the download link is going to be in the description um, you can download that it should be off Mediafire and then just plop it into your um, calculator with TI Connect CE um, I will leave a link to how to get programs if you haven't done this before um, so yeah let's get straight into it so using it is actually pretty simple. Um, there's just one key thing you want to keep in mind. This top, um, actually, that's a bad example. Let's say, um, boom, uh, that discriminant, boom. You have to keep this in mind, all right? So whatever this formula up top says, that's what you have to follow. It'll ask you for A, it'll ask you for B, and it'll ask you for C. And so let's say we have, um, I don't know, 5 is our A. That means it'd be 5x squared. B, um, let's say 6, would be 6x. And then C would be I don't know, 2. And the equals here doesn't need to be there. And as will show us, yeah. So let's start in. Um, we have axis of symmetry first. Very simple just puts in your axis of symmetry. Make sure everything's in standard form for this one. I don't think I wrote that down. AX squared plus BX equals C. I'm pretty sure that's it, or plus C. Um, so let's just say uh, axis of symmetry, eight and three. Someone can check that, check that for us if you want. You can check that right now. But yeah, that should be it. Um, that's pretty simple. The vertex is simple as well has the equation here for you. Um, you just put in the numbers, and I'll do the math for you. Remember, whatever the, make sure before you type something down, you will have to simplify. There's a high chance you will have to simplify on paper before punching it in. Uh, before you punch it in, um, this formula right here should look exactly like the one on your paper. Um, otherwise, you'll get the wrong answer. So next we have the graph. Now this is actually a very smart designed graph. Um, you, instead of having to, instead of asking you for a bunch of prompts and letters, um, you can just type it in as you will. So this is the format, just do not include the y equals. So for example, let's say I wanna do 2x squared plus 5x minus three, and click enter, it'll graph it for us. So a very helpful program. Um, yeah, um, it does just that. And also, it's not designed only to be used just for quadratics. You can also do linear functions. And pretty much anything that's a function, you can type in here. Just make sure you don't include that y equals. So yeah, anything, even like sine of 100x. That'll work. So yeah, uh, very useful. There is just one thing to keep in mind. Um, in your y equals right here, it will delete everything in here. So if you have um, like a um, like something like you already have an equation, like you're doing this for homework, um, this will this will um, delete it. Let me show you that. So then if I just put in x, graph it. Yeah, it will delete it. It won't show up anymore. Remember, there's that blue line right there. Yeah, it's not going to be there. So yeah, all gone. Just keep that in mind. Um, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, yeah. So next is nonlinear systems, which took quite a while to get. Um, the only reason I made this possible was um, TI-84 CalQuiz. Um, their Algebra 1 suite was the perfect guide, had the perfect code just to show me how to kind of put it in uh, this format to help me out a ton. So I will leave their uh, website link in that program down in the description. Again, huge thanks. Um, yeah. 
So, um, let's take out a nonlinear system. So keep this in mind right here, this formula and this formula, y equals mx plus b, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Keep that in mind, it's gonna be very important. So let's say, um, let's go ahead and just put in um, x, actually no, we do one, right? So remember, you're only looking for the a. If you don't put in like the one x squared, because that's already there. You're only asking for a, not the ax squared. So you only need to put in this one number. And if it just has an x squared, that'd be one. And if it's a negative x squared, that'd be a negative one. Um, zero and minus three. Again, if it's a subtraction sign, like if it's uh, x squared, like this one would be x squared minus three. Instead of putting the subtraction sign, you wanna put the negative sign, just like that. And then for our linear function, we'll do minus one for if it just says minus x plus three you do not need to put a plus sign and i'll tell us the two points that um are uh what do you call it two equations will collide in so um this has been uh tested foolproofed and you guys should it should put out a really good answer for y'all so very simple um just don't get that uh, just don't get any of the functions messed up. And so now this is the big one, the discriminant. So this is also pretty much a quadratic solver, really, a quadratic equation solver. Again, this could not be possible without uh, the Algebra 1 suite, so definitely, definitely go check that out and download it. So the quadratic formula is long, tedious, and hard, but this will just do that for you with a snap. It'll also show you how many like roots, like two real roots, uh, imaginary roots, or one real root. So let's go put in an equation. Remember, uh, remember keep this in mind. Um, this equals zero, okay? Keep that in mind. You wanna get everything on one side, so the right side equals zero, all right? So let's do, um, I don't know, minus two, minus eight, and no, minus eight again. So it'll give us the discriminant, which is zero. This one has one real root. And just like that, that's your x. So that's the answer. So right here, the x equals is the answer to the actual quadratic equation. And um, the discriminant is just the b squared minus 4ac. And this just shows you how many real roots there are. So if you want me to do this with, um, let's say one with uh, zero roots, zero real roots, um, that'd be, I have a paper here, nine three, and two, boom, it'll show zero real roots. It'll also show you um, what's about to be simplified. So yeah, very, very, very helpful. And then lastly, um, this is completing the square. Very simple, just that b divided by two squared, just plop that in, um, keep that formula in mind. All you need is the b, really, just make sure it's in that same format. So there's seven, b four and nine over four. Um, if it is negative um, six, be nine. So basic stuff, you can toy around with this, test it out on a few homework problems, see if you like it. But again, I'll appreciate a download any day. So if this helped you, um, drop a like if you liked it. Um, I guess that's really all I have. So um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.